give me give me a couple minutes I'm gonna call you right back. I'm finna I'm finna do a lot for walking the station. Alright, bye. Huh? I shouldn't. Alright. Alright, bye. Alright guys, I'm here downtown at the head police headquarters right now. The reason I'm coming here is to, to set something straight. Set the record straight. You know, it's sad because Malia has disappeared. Three weeks now. And instead of these organizations working together, they're trying to work against each other, which is not right. You know, searching is you search and look for stuff. You find something, you report it. Yesterday, we heard about the phone, so we went over to the area. Second phone was found. The media called that in. The media called that in yesterday. We didn't call The media called that in. You see what I'm saying? We just happened to be in the area. But end of the, end of the days, it's, it's sad because, because we're doing something good. People are against us. Because we're fighting for the people in the community, in the low-income community, people are against us. We don't have the, the $100,000 or $1 million dollar grants and funds, but it's okay. You know, instead of working together to make our community safer and better for our people, it's sad because when a young black kid or when a Latino kid disappear, no one's worried, nobody care about that. They push that to the damn side. And because we're tired, we're making a stand, it's a problem. It is a freaking problem. It's not fair and it's not right. The chief of police came on the news um, Thursday night and said, please, I'm asking the community to go out there and search and look for her, to help find her. But I can search have a problem with that. And that's, that's a shame. You should have came to me as a man and said, Mr. John, let's just sit down and talk and we can compare notes and sit down and try to find stuff together. That's what he should have done. Don't try to bash us because we're doing God's work. Don't do that. That is very wrong. That's, that's disappointing. You know, you know nothing about me, man. You don't know what I'm going through in life. How I became what I'm doing right. You don't know nothing about what we're doing. Love us lost a loved one or missing a loved one out here. But you choose to bash us for searching for this little girl? Why? Because we're searching more than you in this case? Because we passed over 100,000 flyers? Because we're making a stand of community this is not right? We want justice. We want to find her body. You have no leads. We never gave up a day. We're fighting every day. We, we do this seven days a week. You might have been there 20 years, but you know what? It's like Uber versus Yellow Cab. There's a time for a change, and a change is now. A change is coming. A change is coming. We're not going to let our black kids and Latin kids disappear in the streets anymore or get killed in these streets anymore. We are the voice for the community. We should be working together, not against each other. I, I love you, Tim. I don't even know you, man. I speak highly of you every single day. Every day I speak highly of you. Every day. I never met you before. I met Mr. John. I sure did. February 5th, I met him. He knew who I was before I knew who he was at the courthouse. Yes, I sure did. You know, but it's, it's very disappointing because we're out here fighting for this young lady, fighting for her, and you are not doing that, seems like it. You're, you know, you might be doing it, but you should be saying, hey, let's sit down and talk so we could get notes together and sit, say what area we should search. Because my ears are to the streets, homeboy. My ears are to the streets. And the streets are talking. You see? We're not trying to take credit from nobody. We're trying to find this young lady. Regardless if you're shot by a gun, if it's a hit or run, if it's substance abuse, we are here fighting. We even feed the homeless downtown. So because we're doing God's work, don't bash the people out there searching every single day. They don't have the money and the funds and the technology to do it. All you're doing is searching. You're looking on the ground searching, searching, searching. That's it. We're not contaminating. We're not destroying the evidence. Nobody's paying us to join us. It's volunteers. And it's basic common sense to search. It's basic common sense. But I'm at the police station right now, you know, because this is ridiculous. It really is, man. And you don't know who you're messing with, man. You really don't. You know, I'm fighting for the people in our community in many different ways. In many different ways. And it's time someone stand up the right way and fight for our people in our community. Just because we are in low-income neighborhoods, we're not making six figures. Man, stop judging us, bro. You are judging us for the wrong reasons. This little girl, was, she was four years old. She was killed. Two parents in the house. He was, she was killed. 
We're not taking no limelight from you. We are out here fighting. You got Amanda Thomas on the north side searching. You have Chris Day searching. You have Nicole Taylor searching. You have other people searching on Paul Hernandez searching. You know, Nicole Taylor, Kathy Tatum searching. You know, Sheila Douglas searching. Mr. Ricky Jason searching. You know, Jerry uh, Monroe searching. The list goes on and on and on, man. It's not about equity search, man. It's about the community coming together and build what's right. It's about us voicing our listen, listen, listen to our voice, man. It's about us coming out here and standing up for what's right for our people in the community. I'm tired of every time a child comes missing up in Woodlands, you guys are searching all day, all night, rain or not. But when this black kid comes come missing, you don't search in the rain. You don't, you're not out here doing the work. You're supposed to, you, you guys have the funding to do this. This case should have been solved. And I'm being real about this, man. But you saying that we, man, you, 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 that was wrong. Like you calling us like you, the way, the, the way your comment came out yesterday, is like you said, we're dirt. Like we're nothing, like we're dogs. That's how we took this in our community, bro. We took it, that's how we took it. Because we are out here every single day fighting, fighting, fighting for her. And that's wrong because the, the way how your comment came up yesterday, it bothers the whole community. What are you really doing out there? Why are you threatened by us? Are you threatened by us? You know, you put in stuff. You, you guys walk. You got. When I was out there in Greens Road, y'all sitting around drinking, drink. Everybody drinking. Could have been evidence the same exact way. You walk and you search. You walk and you search. You walk and you search, looking on the ground and look. That's basic. It. That's what kind of training can you get? You're not looking for fucking bombs. You're not looking for mind bombs and all that. You're not. So if we find something, yes, we call the right authority. You're not the police. You still got to report to them. And we're doing the same, ex if we find something, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to report to them and let them come out and search it the right, the proper way. Because out here, there's a lot of little girls' underwears out here. There's a lot of people putting dogs in bayous and bags and buckets and whatever else. And when you're smelling corpse, it's like, wow, we smell a corpse. You call it in. So don't judge us because we're doing something for our community. Don't judge us because we're doing God's work. And we are tired. We are tired of our blacks and Latinos being segregated against. And that's what we are out here fighting. If you never walked in our shoes before, don't put yourself in our shoes and situation. Don't do that. I'm speaking for our community. I'm, yes, I'm now become the voice today for our community. So don't speak on us like we're doing something wrong, searching for a four-year-old black girl that's missing our streets of Houston for three weeks. Don't do that. You, 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 you made it seem like, like we're doing something wrong out there, man. We're not doing nothing wrong but to find this girl. We passed over 125,000 flyers in the streets. In a week. In a week. Have you even been to, knock on that door? Have you, have you spoke to the neighbors? Have, have, you, have you even put yourself in an environment that's not making six figures to try to get a better understanding where you think this body is at? People said they're done it. This guy is not dumb. He's very smart. He's high in the body, so he's smart enough to know what the answers. Okay, but don't judge us because we're trying to help. You should be saying, you know what? You guys are doing a wonderful job. We thank you so much. Please come in and talk to us instead of going to news. But we never bashed you at all. We never did. And because people, people are saying thank you for you don't mention. Oh, he's a good guy. Yes, I yes, I'm a good guy. Every black person don't have a fucking criminal history. Every black person don't have to go to jail. You understand that? So I took that, that, that very, very disrespectful, what you said last night. Not only for myself, but for the black and Latino community. That is very wrong. That is very wrong what you did last night. And I'm calling you on that. You're very wrong for that. It, it pisses me off because have you walked in our shoes? Time has changed. Technology has changed. You know, you know, you actually what you did, you gave us a blessing. You know, you, you, you made us feel better about what we're doing. You, it shows that someone is watching us. And I thank God for that. Because we never thought we'd be doing this one day. And now we're doing it now. So now we're going to fight even harder. Not only for Malia. This is bigger than Malia now. This is bigger than Malia. The chief of police came on TV Wednesday and said, please, community, please come and help. 
Please go out and look for her, this little girl. Please go and find her and bring her home. Yes, we know she's most likely deceased. Houston is very spread out. Houston is very big. It's a very big city. It's a huge city. I know you can't do it by yourself. You should be happy someone is out here looking and searching and fighting. What is the issue? What is the problem, EquiSearch? What have we done to you to hurt you? Nothing. We've done nothing to hurt you but try to find this girl and fight for justice for her. That's it. The police haven't said we did anything wrong. We have never have contaminated no evidence. You haven't have any evidence that you contaminated. I'm pretty sure you haven't. So that is wrong for what you did to try to bash us so we could stop. But we're not going to stop. We're going to keep on searching. There's no law say we cannot search. There's no law so we cannot walk in these jungles and these bayous and these creeks and these bushes and these, to search for her. Show me the law that says that. Show me the bill that says we cannot search. People search every single day. Every day they search. But now there's a black girl that's missing and we're fighting for her. Now it's the issue. Justice for Malia. Justice for Malia. We search every single day for May 6th. We passed out 125,000 flyers every day. Are you going to bash us, Echo Search, for doing, for doing God's work? We're tired of y'all putting the black and let community down. We're tired of that. So we are making a voice. We're lifting our voice today and keep on lifting our voice. Show me the bill that's saying we cannot search for this young lady that's missing. Show me the bill. Show me the law. If the police department said it's okay to search, why can't we search? We're not going to stop. You're not going to bring us down. You're not going to do that. We shouldn't be divided. We should be working together as one to find this little lady. We should be looking for her. But you're not cooperating. That is wrong. Man, our people have been through so much in our local community, man. You understand. They've been through so much. Our young black kids getting killed. Latin kids getting killed in the corner. We got to deal with that every single day. Kids can't get jobs because they go to jail for, for a crime. They come out, they can't get jobs. Mothers get a, a beat beaten at home, you know, and it's very sad and depressing. Now this little girl, innocent girl, is murdered. It's gone. The stepfather not even speaking about it. All we're doing is trying to bring her home so the family can lay her to rest. It shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be a problem. That's why I ask everyone every day to please, if you know something, say something. If you guys are out here and, and, and you know the answers, please, man. Because I'm telling you, if you're involved, you're going to jail. That's what I'm telling you. The police is not upset with me. I can search the map because we're searching. But we have the right to search. We have the right to look for it like anyone does. <clears throat> we're, not, <clears throat> we're not making money off this. We're not making a dime off this. We are searching for what's right. And it's to find her. And this is bigger than Malia now. You see what I'm saying? Because we're keeping the story alive in the media and the public eyes. It's an issue. We're not contaminating no evidence out there. Show me the proof of contaminating evidence. Show me the proof of that. There's none. There is none. Instead of you saying, hey, Mr. John, come on down with the, with, with the search team so we could talk and we could probably help you in a little bit of training, you know, or help us get to another level you want to try to shut us down for, for doing a good thing for the community but it's okay it is okay I love you I don't hate you and I thank you for, for the past 20 years of service you've been doing and I applaud you for that but when it comes to this four year old girl that's missing you're not going to tell us we cannot search because I've been out here for three weeks past 100,000 fires and I'm looking and I'm tired of people looking at the black community and the Latin like we're, like we're dogs and we're dirt but we're not but that's it I'm fighting for justice. I'm going to keep on fighting for justice. Love you guys. And I see you today at 10 o'clock over at um, Bissonette and Kirkwood, Taco Cabana parking lot. Thank you. Have a blessed day.